Hey everybody, it's Roxy in the kitchen with a review for you. Uh, this is the purple tractor coffee grinder. Um, I've also been told you can grind herbs um, in this. I haven't tried it yet, but I have tried uh, coffee grounds in this. And basically, you just pour coffee beans on the top here, cut them out you want cap on. And this would be great for like if you were camping um, where you don't have not close to electricity or you don't have much to use. Um, just grind it a few times about how much you need. Once you've done that, this comes apart. Um, also, I didn't mention to you, uh, this knob here uh, can be adjusted to how fine you want your grounds. Uh, the writer, they say writing Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So, the tighter, the finer the grounds, uh, more to the left, the looser, uh, the more chunkier, coarse ground you're going to get. So, um, just a tip on that. Um, basically, now I'm going to show you. This is, I'm needing coarse ground for uh, what I'm doing. Um, that's the coarse ground there. So. Um, basically what I'm going to be doing, needing coarse ground for, I'm going to link the next review that I'll be doing below. Uh, it is for a French press. And you need coarse ground for a French press. I actually have two different French presses that I'm going to be uh, reviewing. Uh, this is a glass deal here, but you'll know the rest of that in my next review. That way if you don't need to watch the whole thing, you don't have to. But this was Sorry about that guys, I didn't realize, that I didn't check, should've, but my battery went dead. Anyway, I was just letting you know this is the Purple Tractor brand uh, coffee grinder. It's totally made of stainless steel so it won't rust. Um, it's pretty easy to wash. Um, basically, you just totally unscrew this all the way and this whole thing comes out and you wash it and then it will dry. Uh, set it out to dry and it's, uh, you can take it apart so that it fits down pretty small. I mean. This thing's probably only about 10 inches, so it'll fit in a pretty tight space. If you're going camping, it won't take up much space. So anyway, I hope you liked this review. Give it a thumbs up if you did, I'd appreciate it. Um, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing a lot more reviews, and I will also link the review below for the uh, food press. Food presses, wow. The coffee press uh, for the two different ones. I've got two different uh, coffee presses that I have to do, so we'll talk to you all guys later. Bye!